international research studies and poverty and public institutions caste based atrocity discrimination and so on apart from this uh, from the classroom he is also actively involved in uh, the uh, grassroots people uh, uh, movements in the country uh, and also i congratulate professor sukumar for his uh, recent book titled uh, caste discrimination and exclusion in indian university a critical reflection uh, he'll be also reflecting on the book in the current uh, 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 lecture i invite professor sukumar to chair the session uh i invite uh, pramod to uh, hand over him a book you are making much work oh, thank you so much uh well uh, thank you uh, uh so much for this you know uh invitation see uh, uh, my affiliation with bapsa and jnu from the day not only the day I, day i joined in jnu it was much beyond you know so uh, i am really and also you know uh, uh, jbeam all you know i start with jbeam you know so that that gives me more strength and uh, that's how i am here and i'll keep on heading you know with such kind of you know activities and you know academic you know achievements and let me share you know i'm so happy that this is the first invitation i accepted after the book has been you know formally released released in the sense you know it came out in the market you know though there were invitations from my own department for different reasons i said i am busy for different reasons i said i am busy everything is political nothing is a political so let me be very honest i don't care even if my department comes to know about it I, it hardly matters for me number 1 number 2 uh when uh, you know praveen who is here is in within this gathering we had lot of discussions you know before this book comes in you no know, he used to continuously you know we used to continuously discuss about you know all these things you know not only praveen but also there are many other i can see many other you know uh, you know well wisher student friends you know here well uh, this was a dream project of mine i am working on this from 2008 onwards 2008 when i joined in du it was 2001 one fine morning i got up and i saw the news of sendil kumar so i'll give you the context also but since 2008 i am working on bits and pieces and uh, it came out i also didn't know publishers also didn't uh, convey it that you know when i was looking for some uh, you know since i am working on citizenship caste and citizenship now so i suddenly saw this on amazon <laughs> so even i didn't know that and i mean when they you know uh, said even i even didn't get my own copy till now probably soft copy might be getting circulated among people you know and good i'm happy that the way they put the cost that you know it is not affordable so it's good that you know let soft copy be circulated i don't care let libraries buy <laughs> okay with that kind of thing but certainly south asia edition will come probably they might you know uh, this thing uh let me start with uh, is it okay if it is there okay okay uh there are three things which we need to understand caste discrimination in 
Indian universities. Okay. The immediate context what I can bring and the timing of this book. I didn't expect that, you know, this timing also suits me. Uh, all, all suits the interests or suits the academic, you know, uh, uh, concerns. That when NEP comes in, and when NEP comes in and it talks about a kind of exit policy. Now, I see this NEP as an exit policy for, and it, it has its own impact on the marginalized groups who studies in the university system. Okay, if you don't have money, you can exit. You know, there is no point in making education as a public good. So that therefore, the students will, at, at, you know, many of the students who come from marginalized background, they can utilize the public funded institutions to get education, to attain knowledge, to attain employment, to attain their, you know, life dreams, you know, life worlds. So therefore, you know, this exit policy creates, it, it, it makes much more, it facilitates, you know, dropouts. It facilitates dropouts. Okay, if you don't, and the second thing which I would like to bring here is that, the NEP which emphasizes on recognizing, identifying and fostering the unique capabilities of each student. By saying that, which is indeed laudable in exercise, and I mean we don't know what is happening. What happened with common entrance test? How many people were not able to have access to that? Forget about, you know, I mean, uh, uh, marginalized students, you know, many students who never, I mean, it was a chaos, it was a chaos. However, in a hierarchical society where divide between brains and hands, brains and hands, IITs are considered as brains, science courses are considered as brains versus hands. Okay, you know, because, you know, somebody is within quotes, again, I am not romanticizing this idea at all. Brains versus hands is deeply entrenched in this society and also not only in society but also in academic institutions, you know. The pre-existing notions of merit will continue. Who is meritorious? How do we, he is highly subjective. How do we define merit? And we know how merit is being, within quotes again, the, the merit is yet to be get into the institutions and where this kind of policies which doesn't even talk about caste discrimination, caste or even discrimination, other kind of things in the policy itself. As if that there is nothing is happening as such. So therefore, no need to talk about that. In addition, the stress on vocational and skill-based learning like carpentry, electricity, metalwork, gardening, pottery making, etc. would further argument of caste, you know, based professions. You know. Might not say that, okay, these four varnas and this kind of work that it happens, but it pushes certain marginal groups towards to this kind of. So, therefore, the dropout is there. Exit policy is there, you get out from the system and do kind of small, small things where you don't fit into the system. Number two, on 18th July, last month, in the Lok Sabha, the minister stated that the skew against the disadvantaged groups was deeper than the overall average of 2021. I am giving you the data. Data in the sense, what is what happened in the highest, you know, representation institutions of this country, like Lok Sabha. For instance, in IIT Bilai, out of 207 applications from candidates who hail from SC background, none was accepted in 2021. None. As if that, the qualified candidates are not there. That is the argument which gives every time by many hierarchical, uh, sorry, many institutions like IITs, IIMs. And now it is also happening 
extending extended that you know this argument is also extended to the university system where you find in management in uh, computer science professional courses social sciences courses you know because there is there is some kind of you know larger representation from for those disciplines so therefore they are doing but again still that you know these kind of you know uh, courses are yet to or maybe you know they are partly you know in university system they are partly implementing but in this so therefore uh, while you know to continue this you know uh, also last year at iit mandi bilai goa and tirupati not one out of 140 30 and uh, 93 st applicants okay among other iits jodhpur and iit bhubaneswar accepted one out of 107 and 149 ST applica applicants respectively. How do we understand? How do we understand this kind of blatant way of denial of justice? It's a public funded institution. Taxpayers money goes there. But nothing, you know, I mean, who questions? Does it, I mean, what kind of, you know, merit is, argument is given by these, you know, within quotes, you know, esteemed elite institutions, you know, I mean, institutions who are filled, in, filled up with this, you know, fill the elite. A fill the elite who are being completely taken over on these institutions. And they are saying that, no, you are not meritorious. Though you are qualified with fellowships. And the third important context which I want to start about before I go to my lecture, Couple of days before, not much, the minister, the HRD minister announced that high time we dropped concept of only government funded universities. Why should we fund only universities? Public universities can be funded by government. Now what are the implications of this? When not even 5% of the constitutionally mandated reservations policies are not being implemented in institutions of higher learning what what would be the complication what would be the repercussions of this statement now how do we understand this in the context of the marginalized groups and the denial of their due share constitutionally given share so with this three you know immediate you know, concerns, I would like to start about the book which came out, the book which came out. As I said, Sandil Kumar was a PhD scholar, physics, science student. I am emphasizing discipline precisely because there is a context. In 2008, he committed suicide. Again, I am putting within quotes, committed suicide. In the book, I used certain terms uh, because it has been widely accepted by the academic uh, world. So therefore, I am not even placing them, nor neither I am, like suppose when I am using the word upper caste, not I am placing them as a superior caste categories. Certain other terminologies which I am not, you know, considering them to be used, but because it has been used within the academics, so therefore I also use for the sake of you know communicating the concerns. Okay, you need to be you know you need to understand my you know uh, uh, concerns also. Therefore I am being very clear and I am being very clear about why I use these terms. So in Hyderabad University, this boy committed suicide or been forced to commit death or forced to kill institutional murders. These are all institutional murders from Santil Kumar to Til Payal Tadvi and then later on uh, Latif, uh, uh, this girl, you know, uh, uh, IIT Chennai, you know, that, you know, uh, 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 that girl, you know, who Fatima, Fatima, Fatima. So you know, it, it keeps on going and why this Students are being, you know, pushed towards to 
to go to such an extent so in then in own his own hostel room he committed suicide and the sad part was that it took 48 hours for the entire campus which includes his lab mates his hostel mates his wing mates his friends to know where is he see the you know tragedy of human relations deteriorating human relations within the university spaces where mobile social media or you know all these things are very much you know very much you know that point of time 48 hours a person kills himself and the body gets decomposed therefore people come to know that he is no more why did he commit suicide or why he went to such an extent i will not go to that you know because he comes from a very very vulnerable background you know when it comes to scholarship when i explain scholarship you know attitude towards to scholarship by different categories within the university spaces is completely obnoxious you can see that and i felt you know i mean when i heard the news of senthil kumar i i felt you know i can like you know i mean i could comprehend senthil's you know universe as i had spent a decade in the same campus in the same hostel then you know it was a sleepless night you don't believe what is happening to these campuses i stayed there there was a huge ambedkarite uh, dalit uh, student politics there vibrant and why is that you know this is happening and when i presented this i just you know then i started writing a small it's it's a kind of you know four page story i located myself as a subject and i then divided you know campus space into different spaces like hostel classroom and uh, general you know uh, uh, campus you know atmosphere then i just wrote you know what kind of problems that you know the dalit boys and girls you know they face and you know one of the colleges in delhi university you know zakir hussain college they invited me to speak something on uh, caste so i thought let me present this when i presented this not less than 60% of people were very unhappy unhappy for what unhappy for not the issue what i was presenting unhappy that what they said you know i narrated my experience of caste inequity in the university setting at an academic gathering in a delhi university i was ridiculed as the audience felt that caste is an acronym acronism it is nothing you know it's okay caste is there does it really you know works like this does it really happens in a university in such a you know modern post modern kind of you know times and for my utter surprise a professor who also belongs to the dalit category comes to me and says that please don't romanticize don't romanticize that made me feel so you know uh, 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 i mean it it was it was such a taken taken back situation you know to me therefore what i thought now no i need to work out on this because you know people are asking me you know you are you are romanticizing you need to prove with data you know obviously you know in a research you need to prove with the data people are thinking that i am romanticizing precisely because i come from this particular caste so what i did so some pointed that i am valorizing the victimhood valorizing the victimhood you know and as a first generation dalit in academia the onus was on me to prove the ver veracity of exclusionary practices in higher educational institutions to an unbelievable academic audience let me put it within quote unbelievable academic audience there are people still they don't i know caste is that but are hum to nahi karte aisa nahi karte hum sab barabar but we know how but we know how you know things happens the book speaks 
volumes and this book is only 20% of data which I have used for this book only 20% rest 80% of data is still with me probably I might come out with a series now this motivated me to probe further into lived experience of Dalit students on campuses by focusing more intently on a particular way through which these students create meanings for their own experiences. Each student has their experiences if you read. They create meaning in their experience within the campus. It is not that they are coming for certain you know kind of you know activism it is not that they are coming for spending fellowship money they are coming to the campuses to create some meaning not only for their own life but for the community for the country we don't understand that we don't understand that frequently these processes of creating meaning for their own lives go unnoticed or unexamined in the daily life. What happened when there was a small note which has been written by Rohit Vemula, please supply a rope and a poison. You are unnoticing the trauma that the Dalit students are facing within the campus spaces. You, you, you know that, you know, what is happening. But you don't, it, this kind of, you know, kind of, you know, negligence. You know it, but you pretend that you are not aware about these things. Apart from the field data, what I did, I have also utilized my own experiences both as a student in Hyderabad University and also as a faculty in Delhi University. This book contains just 2019 experience which I experienced in the Department of Political Science. It's public, I don't care. It's public, I don't care. So I also utilized my own experiences to bring the nuances of such practices that happens in the campus spaces. Now, coming to the patterns of discrimination within the campus spaces, you know, I'm also no, I will not take much time. I'll spend maybe another 30, 40 minutes, 30 minutes to explain about you know patterns of discrimination. And there are many, you know, if if you know, interesting thing, when I asked one of the topmost sociologists who is working on caste in this country, asked, please, you know, I mean, is there any work which has been dealt on student suicides? And you don't believe students' suicides, cutting across caste, they're the highest number in this country. If you go through the National Climb uh, Record you know, Bureau, students are the highest number who are committing suicides in this country. Now that doesn't become a subject for research in a discipline like sociology. I asked this professor that I want, I'm working on this. Could you please suggest some readings on suicides, student suicides in India? They said no. And that, re that, you know, rem that reminds me that seven years before, a girl student from sociology department who approached with a proposal to the Delhi University sociology department that she want to work on suicides, the entire department described him. Nee, what kind of topics you are choosing? No, 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 no. Suicides, you know, what, where it happens? No, why I'm bringing in between these things, it is very important. You know, prejudices that completely encroaches into the minds of the faculty. When you want to do something, you say, no, 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 this is not an important, you know, area or it is not an important aspect to do research. I just, you know, I mean, drawn, as I said, you know, it's only 20% of the, you know, book because you know, it takes a lot of time, you know. 
so probably you know it, we can discuss much or maybe please read it and i need a critical input on this you know so that it can be you know uh, read you know it can be worked further you know yeah before that you know, i don't mind even publishers doesn't publish my work in future i'm putting it more in public they'll come to know about it okay when i sent this proposal though it is very confidential i don't care i'm telling you let it be let it be you know i mean <laughs> one book people asking me book yaar book likho 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 kya kitab likhna batai classroom mein you need to go and give confidence to the students so yes i proved myself that's a different thing so when i sent this proposal with a title gate crashing into gurukuls title is gate crashing into gurukuls caste discrimination in indian universities they said no 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 <laughs> as why they said no we have our own problem of you know commercializing the book that's how it becomes 12000 of this book which i don't have any say anyway south asia edition comes later on that's a different thing but you know one publishers have the problem with the type title then the reviewers you can't write words like uh, saraswati portals words like saraswati portals i used in the proposal which i sent no 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 these are all you know these things you know one said you know this is trash this is not worth to be published one reviewer says the another reviewer says it is good but the language need to be toned down <laughs> literally i am telling you the language need to be toned down so then i felt no the purpose need to be served the purpose need to be served i accepted it came out it came out okay now when it comes to viva what i did i studied this study is like yeah it covers 600 samples not one or two 600 samples which the universities the names of the universities i kept confidential precisely because of sensitivity whatever it may be cutting across the country five state universities and five central universities five state universities five central universities picking up different disciplines within the university spaces picking up different disciplines within the university spaces and then what i did it is not only the data which i wrote i mean which i explained while going through the questionnaires the questionnaire was 520 entries which runs 22 pages my scholars who helped me in coming out with this work i am really thankful to them without them it would have not been a project which i would have not completed you know properly and picking up students from dis different disciplines because you know different disciplines has it it has its own way of you know discriminatory practices and gender and the gender which i was very careful in bringing up these kind of things and i used interpretative phenomenological analysis also as part of a method also as a part of method where you study certain case narratives when i was going through questionnaire each and every questionnaire personally i i flipped and i picked up certain around 20 questionnaires which were can be you know which can be utilized for case narratives so the data which i collected in the field need to be substantiated with a qualitative concerns so one chapter contains purely narratives not only first hand narratives through my study but i also picked up certain narratives which came on online portals like the wire which talks about the campus lives matter you know the campus lives and also other blogs 
where I have collected few narratives and made it as a chapter. Because you know, not only the data, how even I use certain you know qualitative data, certain statements. If I go on reading those statements, you feel so disgusting about how people have the prejudices, you know, I mean in their minds when it comes to scholarships, when it comes to viva, not only students, the faculty, their perceptions towards to these students has been completely exposed. Completely exposed. So I picked up those narratives as one chapter and when I was reading, you know, Anil Kumar Meena, you know, Ames, Thorat, uh, report uh, and, you know, many other, you know, experts who submitted their reports. So I felt that, you know, I think one chapter on suicides or, you know, the institutional murders need to be brought in. When there is no discussion at all on su students' suicides, I felt that is very important intervention and I brought one chapter, suicides. But no doubt that, you know, a couple of professors who helped me in giving the feedback mentioned very interestingly that no, this is not a complete study. Well, was, this is not a complete study. Then I asked that, you know, what, what need to be filled the gap? So one professor, you know, uh, Professor Satish Deshpande, who suggested uh, bring the data of the, uh, these, you know, IC reports, higher education reports, bring that, you know, where does the community stands? So the reports which I used, the fact sheet, the data sheet of 10 years, 10 years data sheet on where these, you know, and also within that I bought Social science disciplines, science disciplines, technical disciplines, how much reservation is being implemented, how many seats are being filled. And then I bought, you know, not only that, also the teachers, you know, I mean, recruitments, you know. So therefore, you know, what data speaks in the report? And mera hissa kaha hai? Where is my due share? So therefore, then it started, you know, I mean, like introduction where I brought different theories. And then the second chapter talks about the data. Third talks about the, I mean, the, the, the uh, primary data, uh, like, you know, I mean, the reports, 10-year reports. And the, sec the third chapter deals with the data, the uh, field data. Fourth chapter is on narratives. Fifth chapter is on suicides. And sixth chapter is a conclusion. So now when it comes to Viva, out of 600 respondents, Okay, where 188 or you know girl students, you know women respondents in all these universities, 101 female students were lucid that Viva is extremely discriminatory. But however, 58 girl students they said, no, we don't, we haven't faced any such kind of you know problem. Okay, and then. I haven't, then now further this data need to be probed with different variables. Now I want to probe that who are these 58 students, you know. What would be their, you know, family background? Are they first generation? Are they second generation? Okay, why is that, you know, such kind of things haven't happened? And few students said that because they are master students, they did not had a chance to run into the viva. So therefore few students said that, no, we haven't, face the viva so that we can't comment on this. And out of 266, I mean, sorry, 266 male students agreed that they faced discrimination during viva, while 104 again, you know, denied. Okay. And others, this denial means, you know, they have not faced either viva as a master student. Okay. Or even uh, graduate students, some of the graduate students are also being, you know, because of this, you know, a five-year uh, integrated program. We also want to study the you know graduate students, so they might have not faced this viva as a you know uh, examination. So therefore, this kind of responses comes in, and it is invariable in a, in the viva. I, I lot of you know statements are there which I I am not giving that you know because we don't have much time. But you should see the, the nature of 
how the viva is conducted when it comes to socially predominant communities and you know dalit boys and you know girls when they go they hardly interact forget about you know they ask two three questions and then say okay bye and somebody will be very busy on their mobiles you know faculty i have seen i have seen as an observer i have seen many things which happens in front of okay who cares for them you don't ask so that better say that no he or she did not respond or you ask questions in such a way that which is nothing to do with what you are proposing what you are proposing what happened in i mean the court thing which even one mark two marks everywhere in higher educational jain you you just google you will see that how viva is highly discriminatory not only in jnu but also in many other central universities okay my data prove that my data prove that this many people are saying 600 samples not one or two cutting across the country then language how it becomes a very you know contested domain very important thing you know that you see one students the, the the accusation is that students doesn't know the language number one teachers perception is that general generally ha huh, people who come from the marginalized background they don't know about the language equities or language as a you know in the the subject to within the subject it they doesn't know or even that english hindi divide and also i have seen this divide in regional universities where i have studied not only english hindi but also in the in the regions where i studied there is a regional variation you know telugu you know malayalam and uh, you know tamil you know hindi there is a you know this language plays a very dubious role so based on language you try to deny you try to deny are inko english hi nahi aata hai to fir kya research karega matlab research karne ke liye language is a criteria which is, which is not supposed to be which is not supposed to be but you bring that to deny the seat to bring that to deny the seat you use language as a criteria okay you don't know how to speak you don't know how to write one of my professors in hyderabad university gave me four marks in political thought and theory which right now i am teaching in delhi university <laughs> okay when i went and asked that what is there he said no 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 your language is not good sir sab dekh lijiye thoda sa wahan pe kuch hai stuff usme yes i my i agree but my background is something different where my social capital is not something to do with this kind of things which you are arguing the social capital which the other carries which i might not be carrying i might not look so bodily clean these are all things no which measures within the campus spaces you need to be very you know clean you can't wear hawaii chappal no hawaii chappal se chale jao to fir kya hoga wahan pe dekhega wo wo then this fellow says no no your language your language is very bad see the language how you know you see that the professor from my own department retired now namaskar boliye sir bhi nahi uthaye hi sir good morning oh good morning how are you you know the you know the language which creates a kind of you know sense of you know pride among few so language is a major problem a close glance at the stories of suicide dropouts on uh, on campuses would reveal that denial and withdrawal of you know scholarships language is one factor second factor is scholarships you know out of you know 600 samples out of 600 samples scholarships ka maine not less than 72% of respondents out of 600 they said that scholarship is a major contested domain within the campus spaces 
अरे इनको ये तो ये तो पेंशन दे रहा है आई एम नॉट यूजिंग दिस वर्ड सम रेस्पॉन्डेंट यूज दिस वर्ड इसको पेंशन मिलता है एंड द मोर यू स्टे इन द कैंपस द मोर लैंग्वेज डेरिगेटरी यूसेज ऑफ लैंग्वेज ओल्ड एज पेंशन मिल रहा है इसको नॉट पेंशन इसको ओल्ड एज पेंशन मिल रहा है एंड यू सी दैट यू नो फ्रॉम साइनिंग एंड यू डोंट बिलीव सुपरवाइजर्स हैव एटीएम कार्ड्स ऑफ देयर स्टूडेंट्स सुपरवाइजर्स दे टेक एटीएम एटीएम कार्ड्स फ्रॉम देयर स्टूडेंट्स ब्राइब इन द कैंपस देर कैंपस प्रिडेटर्स okay they don't want schedule ka students to study they directly ask money your entire contingency money goes into the supervisor's pocket i am not generalizing there are a few campuses this study talks about that okay from signing a kaam bataiye kaam kaam bataiye pehle kya kaam kiya nahi 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 main sign nahi karunga bhai ना तुम ठीक से सुपरवाइज कर रहे हो उनको नेदर यू आर गिविंग टाइम टू द स्टूडेंट टू सुपरवाइज मेनी स्टूडेंट्स दे आस्क फॉर टाइम यू डोंट गिव एंड यू क्वेश्चन देयर एकेडमिक क्रेडेंशियल्स बिकॉज ऑफ देयर कास्ट बैकग्राउंड यू हैव सी डस सुपरवाइजर स्ट्रीट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर वर्किंग अंडर हिम और हर इक्वली द क्वेश्चन कम्स यर हु इज बींग पोजिशन ऑन हाई प्रिविलेज and who is being positioned on the lower data speaks who want to supervise on what grounds that also i asked the data says ah if you are a again within courts upper caste or with you are from a bureaucrat background you are very rich fill the rich so that you know you know supervising you will be a give and take relationship no कहीं उनका बाप जो को होगा किसी होगा वो कहीं मेरे को कहीं पे बिठाएगा सो सुपरवाइजरी इज अच्छा यू हैव ए फेलोशिप आर नॉट इफ यू डोंट हैव ए फेलोशिप हु केयर्स फॉर यू यू हैव टू रन फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अदर प्लेस ओके यू हैव टू रन फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अदर प्लेस सो द फेलोशिप नाइक फ्रॉम साइनिंग टू टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दैट फेलो डजेंट इवन लुक यू इफ यू गो टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ब्लॉक्स ऑफ दीज यूनिवर्सिटीज many universities they don't even see you they will they will be busy on their you know whatsapp or you know insta or some other you know a bloody you know a, a group i mean the social media and they don't even acknowledge your presence and they keep on keep on suppose you know i'll give you one classic example of one of my narrative one of my narrative which speaks this student got university fellowship okay university fellowship using it so suddenly this student gets icssr fellowship okay so this student want to shift from university fellowship to icssr fellowship so the icssr you know the fellowship section first reaction that was not much at that point of time okay kuch to mila you know delayed file other things lot of hassles bureaucratic hassles then the same student got fellowship for scheduled caste and scheduled scheduled caste ugc which was in some other name and that name has been changed that is also political i am not saying some respondent said i don't care saying that but one respondent said it is precisely because because it was in the name of rajiv gandhi fellowship the government doesn't want to continue that name and they changed it as fellowship for scheduled caste that is their problem you know they that's a different thing but when this this candidate got this fellowship you can't believe two months this candidate was shuttling from one place to other place to other place to other place to get clearances to avail this fellowship and you know that the deadline of that fellowship is approaching the candidate was so frustrated and it is a case narrative how the administrative you know lackadaisical approach towards to these concerns people ha mil gaya fellowship are tumko kyun nahi milega log bolta hai you know very sarcasm 
that's you know sarcastic you know thing is which is highly problematic some people will feel very few people felt feels very happy you know response towards to fellowship by different categories i asked from peer group from teachers from you know administration the opinion they give the way they you know make mockery they literally they they humiliate by certain words सरकारी का दामाद है सरकारी का दामाद है आप लोग मिल मिल जाए आपको क्यों टेंशन लेना मिल ही जाएगा देखो हम देखिए हम इतना टेंशन ले रहे हैं नो बाई सेंग दैट वॉट इज दैट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से दैट यू नो यूर ट्राइंग टू कम्युनिकेट यू आर कम्युनिकेटिंग दैट लुक योर पीपल आर गुड फॉर नथिंग आप लिखो नहीं लिखो आपको मिल ही जाएगा एंड इफ यू सी द एंट्रेंस मेरिट एंट्रेंस एंड एग्जाम्स ऑल दो थिंग्स these people are equally competing they are competing much more better than the other you have seen how social media goes viral that you know the cut off marks that are being decided by different institutions it is not that they are not meritorious it is the mindset which has been already fixed that these people don't deserve they don't work hard acha ab to jeans pehnoge aap ab to bike le loge aap क्या तुम्हारा बाप का जागिरी है सिर्फ जीन्स पहनना या बाइक लेके घूमना क्या तुम फेलोशिप लेके तुम नहीं घूमता है वॉट इफ दिस स्टूडेंट दे गर्लफ्रेंड मिल जाएगा डेटा सेस डेटा सेस आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट आई आई थॉट आई नीड टू ब्रिंग ईच एंड एवरी स्मॉल न्यू एंड दैट हैपन्स विथ इन द क्लास रूम विथ इन द कैंपस लाइफ विथ इन द ऑल काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप therefore it took me you know lot of time to come out with you know such kind of work then it was used as a weapon sandil kumar the first person uh, 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 not only sandil kumar many people many you know you see you know you take many people who withdrawn their admissions You stop fellowship. It's a weapon. Simple. अरे इनको सबक सिखाना एक ही तरीका है साइन मत करो कहा जाएगा वो पूरा घूम के फिर पीछे हमारा पी, पा, पास ही आएगा वो हमारा पैर पकड़ना है टच अवर फीट दैट इज द एटीट्यूड ऑफ द डोमिनेंट कास्ट फैकल्टीज इन द यूनिवर्सिटी स्पेसिस the denial withdrawal of scholarship was a potent weapon to discipline the deviant bodies both by the teachers and supervisors and administrators scholarships are also ridiculed as as handing out pensions at a young age i i told you i already mentioned about you know pensions and also old age pension pensions if you are you know like ma students mphil abhi mphil ka tham hi ho gaya okay PhD or you know like for the example such kind of ये तो narrative में बता रहा था ना that girl narrative the administration fellow you know what he said he said भाई तुम क्यों परेशान कर रहे हमको तुमको ये क्यों मिल रहा है इतना fellowship क्या सरकार के पास इतना ज्यादा पैसा हो गया तुम लोगों को पैसा इतना देने के लिए जाओ बाद में आइए आप अभी टाइम नहीं मेरे पास you know see that you know I mean परेशान हो रहा है हम आपको लेके पिछले छह महीने से एक फेलोशिप से दूसरा फेलोशिप दूसरा फेलोशिप से तीसरा फेलोशिप इट आल्सो ऑल्टर्स द कैंप एंड व्हाट हैपेंस नो हाउ कैंपस लाइफ डायनेमिक्स चेंजेस व्हेन इट हैपेंस नो विथ सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड हाउ डू वी एनालाइज द एपिस्टमिसाइड विद इन द क्लासरूम नॉलेज नीड टू बी डेमोक्रेटाइज teacher should be a democrat teacher is not supposed to have a separate practice in giving specific space towards to one particular social category students whom he or she belongs to so that you know you promote one particular caste category students and you don't promote the other you don't have time one of our students obviously i heard i don't want to name the student name and also the faculty name 
people might think that, you know, I mean, I, because, you know, these are all facts, you know, I mean, I don't care. When the student went for a recommendation letter, so the first question was asked, why do you need a recommendation letter? The professor doesn't know the caste background of this particular researcher. So, this researcher said, I'm applying here and therefore, you know, achha. Kaun sa jat se hai tum? Kaun sa jat se hai tum? Is this an eligibility or eligibility for getting a recommendation letter? Then the student says, yes. Ah, thik hai, baito, baito, baito. Ye pehle kyun nahi bata hai mereko? Ye pehle kyun nahi bata hai? This happened in my own department. This happened in my own department. Then I said, it amounts to caste discrimination. It amounts to caste discrimination. And I myself, who is a signatory of the 2013 guidelines of UGC, if you implement to to in total 2013 guidelines of UGC, which defines the discri discrimination, caste discrimination, it will address the problem, I am telling at least 80 to 90 percent of the problems. I have, in fact, I have made the questionnaire even based on that also. Now, based on the 2013 guidelines, every university gets a circular from the UGC saying that please furnish the annual report. And that letter will be sent to all the de departments saying that in your department do you have this anti -dis uh, this discrimination you know uh, uh, the cell which addresses the problem of discrimination gender you know all these things i myself was a signatory of 2019 that you know there was no as such happened at that point of time so i myself was a signatory who looks into the caste discrimination within the campus sorry within the department and for my utter surprise when i filed an rta on 15 universities, 15 universities, randomly, I picked up, you know, randomly the universities and I picked up and I filed RTI asking for five years data, whether please provide me the data of discrimination, my own university, they, their response towards to UGC was, the report was not submitted. Why is this mockery? Why is this mockery? Because Rohit Vemula incident happened, you appointed anti-discrimination officer in the university who doesn't know the basics of the idea of uh, discrimination. In many universities, all the universities, they are supposed to appoint. But no reports. You don't even implement 2013 guidelines to address these problems. Now you comes out with a new educational policy which doesn't even mention anywhere about the word discrimination. How do we, how do we, you know, understand these, you know, Brahminical portals or Brahminical, you know, agraharas? So the classroom, <laughs> it's very interesting, you know, classroom may relationship, pair group relationships. Is very important, you know, how do, where people, who sits where, who sits with whom. I asked one basic question. Who are your best five friends? Name. Best five friends? They will give the names. And you ask their caste categories, you will come to know that how pair group relations are being happening in the campus. Just simple question. You can understand. If you are with your own people, why is that? There is some serious problem within this relational Patterns in the campus. Okay, so classroom becomes a contesting domain. You know, you don't have a confidence. People will speak on, you know, language, you know, English. I never used to sit in front, thinking that teacher will make me to stand up and you know humiliate me by asking a question in English because I was not so confident enough when I was in my masters. I don't care telling about that. But what is the teacher's role within the classroom? Is the teacher playing a positive role in generating a confidence among the students who come from marginalized background? 
No, you don't want to give any time to them. You have all kinds of prejudices when it comes to classroom. Marks discrimination. I'll come to that, you know, slightly much later. Table I will explain. So the classroom is a contested domain. Language, peer relationships, teacher-student, student-student relationships. The system facilitates the entry of the marginalized groups who would never have been allowed in by the hierarchical social structures. Reservations comes in. And you know, to kill, sabotage this, HCO is very good. You know, I mean, the institution which I come from, many people, they hate me there. They hate me literally. I don't care. They stopped me calling. I mean, I never bothered about that also. Literally exposed HCO. When Rajiv Gandhi Fellowship comes in, they have invented a new idea. And that has become a policy now at the national level. The idea what? Are Hamara Bache Itna Mehnat Karke, you know, our students are so hard working, they are getting fellowships. UGC, JRF, with their hard sweat. How come by just submitting a proposal, one can get a fellowship? No, this cannot be tolerated. This cannot be. So what is the idea? You bring entrance within the campus. You say that, no, we will conduct. Because universities are autonomous. They can do. So what they did, they said, everybody needs to write entrance. You may have fellowship or not. Whoever, you may have JRF, you may have Rajiv Gandhi fellowship, you may have some other fellowship, but write entrance. So through entrance, you are trying to prevent them coming in to entrance, you know, and that has become a national policy. With only entrance, you will have to get into. If you qualify only in that entrance, then your fellowship can be accepted. So new ways of, you know, creating the bottlenecks towards to these, you know, students who comes for the, you know, for the studies. Admission process is onwards. It's not a level playing field, you know. You know, fees, fee structure. Now, Delhi University, with this new educational policy, with the blessings of these kind of, you know, statements by the so-called minister, saying that public funding is not necessary for the universities now, colleges has increased the admission fee in the name of development fee, in the name of, you know, all kinds of things. So where will this scheduled caste and scheduled tribe and poor children will go? Even though they are from other background. They might be poor, but they can't afford education. Where do they go? And if you say that, you know, we can't fund public institutions, then what for this GST policy? <laughs> Tax policy is what for? Is it not for education? If not for education, no society will progress if education is collapsing. No society will progress if education is collapsing within that society. Then, you know, I mean, I don't want to explain much, but you know, in 2006, I guess, our own entrance examination was conducted. Even now, you don't observe. Some, some examinations are conducted like that. Because, you know, you, fa you pay lesser fee, scheduled cast, sometimes they don't pay fee. So their roll numbers all comes at one particular space, you know, that, you know, their roll numbers in the seating entrance examination. Roll numbers are prescribed. Once if you are insider, you know the roll numbers. And once if you know the roll numbers, which category belongs to, finish. So, you know, how come you can categorize students and place them in an entrance hall? You place marks against, you know, star marks against, you know, categories. Is it that you want to say that, you know, you belong to this particular quota child? So, therefore, you don't deserve equal space within the classroom, equal space within the campus life, equal space...
ragging ragging of dalit students can take play can take especially humiliating you know many forms like for example ridiculing based on the name of caste you know science disciplines management science technology courses they have the fashion of ragging no they feel very pride in it by humiliating see such a inhuman campuses that we are living they take pride in humiliating the other a campus is supposed to create a cordial atmosphere for any student any student you know forget about only caste so when ragging happens it happens in the name of caste and once if you come to know about the caste then the nature of ragging changes the nature of ragging changes they will ask you go and clean the toilet and they did it it happened and if you say that you are from some other background you may ask or you may ask to do something else color complexion habits culture even the body language and mannerisms of the faculty students students belongs to the dominant community can seem threatening to dalit students you know you create a sense of fear psychosis who oh, professor abhi oh, you go to bhu the best example go to bhu openly they say are tum to dalit ho to kya kare padhna likhna thodi na tum brahman ho this is how they speak and everybody at least majority of people knows it policy makers know it and why is that if this kind of rampant you know discrimination is happening and why this cannot be part of your new educational policy why can't we debate about it who perpetuates discrimination within the classroom when i asked there are you know responses multiple responses one respondent may say teacher peer group mera friends you know or maybe girl students or upper caste girl students or upper caste boy students out of all 600 students which i asked 34.5% students they said 381 responses comes in that upper class sorry upper caste students they discriminate us for this question specific question when you have been asked that forms of discrimination in that you know post you know talking about forms of discrimination 217 responses 19.6% they said english medium students <laughs> english medium the, why i said medium english medium students you know you don't talk usko no your relay friendship back and forth so yeah hindi mein baat karte hai aur usse kya lena dena tumko aa ja aa ja hamare hum thoda sa elite hai na elite hai hum kaun sa college se aaya stephens se aaya a stephens is so great as if that swami sradhanand college is not so great let it help to your language but this is how it happens peer group relationship happens like this and it's a fact and then 176 15.9% said that upper class students like you know rich you can be from <laughs> same background but also you know because you belongs to a different kind of economic background so you tend to backward class students not that only upper caste upper class even backward caste students also discriminate okay 93 only 93 responses with 8.4 students from the sub caste because you know we need to understand because you know when caste and sub caste is being widely debated sub caste discrimination also happened therefore you know 13 respondent said 1.2% respondent said yes we do face discrimination from the other sub caste of the same scheduled caste okay many might have and you know many might also look into my book whether i did did this study or not i did it i cannot be prejudiced when it comes to a caste or even sub caste because it is, it is an academic you know serious academic rigor 
then don't know, you know, it's very, very less, you know, uh, uh, this thing. So therefore, you know, the perpetuators within the classroom is, you know, being clearly, you know, indicating the way. Various forms of discrimination by the teachers, the so-called academic intellectuals, meritorious intellectuals within courts, please. What they say, what the forms? Marking and grading discrimination, 328 responses, 12.2% respondents said, marking and grading discrimination, blatant. Two, language based discrimination, again 9.8, 262 responses comes in. Favoritism for against particular student, community or region. Ah, kaha se, Punjab se, ya Andhra se. Ya Maharashtra se, ya Delhi se, region, community, or a particular student. Ha, ye to mera favorite student hai, because he is very handsome, or she looks beautiful. I'm sorry, gender. Th these things happen. These, you know, it, 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 therefore I'm bringing it into a public domain, like campus. You need to seriously think. Sab ka ek ek favorite student hota hai. Kya pata nahi kya favoritism bolta hai usme. Let's say, other students are not there. But a student is a student. Which one is a student? You are a student. You are a teacher. And you are supposed to treat every student equally. How many? Three, 253 responses. They say that it happens. Ideological beliefs. Now it's more. It's more. Yes, come on, come on, come on. What happened? It's more. Everything will be done from, you know, from uh, MA admissions, not MA admissions, let me tell, Delhi University experience. From your optional courses, you know, your ideology determines where you will land in uh, some college in Delhi University. Op my, many of my students are there, they might be knowing it, you know, they might, some are laughing, some are looking surprisingly, what this guy is saying, it happens. By which option paper you will get PhD seat, milega, number one. PhD seat मिलने के बाद कौन सा कॉलेज में वो भी कौन सा कॉलेज में कॉलेज में नहीं है किस कॉलेज में गेस्ट या एडवोक होगा वो भी डिटरमिन है इट्स अ शेम ऑन दिस इंटेलेक्चुअल्स हु टॉक्स अबाउट मेरिट इट इज शेम ऑन देम आई एम टेलिंग आई कैन नेम एंड शेम आई डोंट वांट टू नेम बिकॉज़ इफ दे लिसन टू दिस थिंग दे विल कम टू नो दे विल कम टू नो Professors create a kind of, you know, you know, it, it's such an, you know, I, I feel, I question them, what nonsense you are asking? Ah, no, 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 it's not, brother, why are you thinking about this? What are you thinking about? Your mind, I am studying bloody, I am here to see you, not the candidate, as an observer. I am not here to see what is happening, I am here to see whether you are conducting the interview properly or not. And your attitude towards to other is different. Your attitude towards to ST, SCST and you know, candidates is different. I said, bloody, keep your, your, your tongue properly. I told a Sanskrit professor in an interview, in a college interview. Nein, nein, nein. I said, please stop this nonsense. Stop this nonsense. I said, kya ho hai? Mokari ho hai pe? I said, band karo ye pura. अरे यार नहीं 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 फिर आया ये प्रिंसिपल आया वो आया नहीं नहीं साहब ऐसा नहीं है आई सेड गेट क्लॉस फ्रॉम माय दिस फॉर एट लीस्ट टेन मिनट्स आई यूज दिस लैंग्वेज और नाउ दैट प्रोफेसर इज वाइस चांसलर ऑफ सम यूनिवर्सिटी इट इज अटर शेम इट इज अटर शेम आई एम टेलिंग आइडियोलॉजिकल बिलीव यू नो अब एनी वे और मेनी अदर प्लेसेस विच इज वेरी नोन फॉर इट very known and everywhere it is happening, you know. Denial of opportunities. Come here, come here, come here. See, that fellowship has come. Did you apply it? They will not make it public. At least, you know, today's little bit of WhatsApp, Facebook, some fellowships that have come in the public domain. Before it was not. Did you have Commonwealth fellowships? Did you have to be an AS officer? Or did you have to be an MP? They got them to them. Why? As if the their, their meritorious is their cultural capital. 
and you call it as merit come and face the real merit with these boys and girls you will i i can i can challenge i can challenge the entire you know you know university system that you place these scst boys and you know place the other and see that you know i mean how they can compete with them preferential treatment for the socially privileged students 189 response i'm just reading no reading and material guidelines ha aa ja ja kitab de le lo ab to mil raha hai sab mera kitab bhi sabke paas hoga mera paas nahi hai wo alag baat hai <laughs> democratizing knowledge but you know pehle kya hote the mera own classmates my own classmates in my masters when i asked that you know what material that i need to read and they they gave me igno material and this is sufficient and for my first unit test where i got four marks i read igno material and i realized there is an another material that has been circulated so you know teachers they do that students they do that where do they go you don't have money to go and get you know xerox and you want everybody to be compete like you know each other gender based discrimination 165 girls students hai to zyada wo karna i mean interest dikhana this this also not facilitating participation in the classroom kuch cultural festival hai kuch academic seminar hai aap academic seminar mein dekh lijiye kon ja ke dais pe introduce karega kon ja ke dais pe introduce karega jo fine english bolta hai na very sweet english oxford accent tamil nadu accent theek nahi hai andhra accent mera jaisa bilkul theek nahi hai तो ये कैसे करेंगे ये लोग हाँ अच्छा ये ना आप लोग ना यू जस्ट कॉन्ट इंट्रोड्यूस द गेस्ट यू पीपल टेक केयर अबाउट यू नो फूड टेक केयर अबाउट फूड एंड टेक केयर अबाउट ट्रांसपोर्ट बेस्ड ऑन अगेन यू नो यू कैन क्लियर क्लियरली सी एंड यू मे नॉट ऑब्जर्व दिस वी मे नॉट ऑब्जर्व दिस कल्चरल प्रोग्राम्स विद इन दू नो स्टूडेंट्स प्रोग्राम्स और यू नो अदर प्रोग्राम्स यू नो there is a category that you know which everybody will get you know i mean in one of my respondent you know, there's a one student who was having some kind of you know one in a state university literally the faculty goes and pulls the mic from the hands of the student and say that you don't deserve to be on the dais and handing the mic towards to one upper caste kamma community on the dais okay non approval of term papers and assignments term papers leke jate hain hum bhai sabke paas language nahi hota hai sabke paas coherence nahi hota hai sabke paas jo bhi hai itna acha likh raha hai to tum kyun why the hell you are there by pay, by taking tax payers money as a salary and why you are not sitting with the students and making them to understand how to write the term paper you don't give time so you stop no then you know again you know that kind of things threat of attendance shortage science mein hota hai ye sare senior students will be controlling junior students senior students will be controlling junior students in the lab teachers will completely leave the things towards to the senior therefore ragging is more because in their hands you know internals lab experiments everything is conducted by the senior students non attestation of the fellowship forms 104 students said responses not student responses so non attestation of fellowships you know many students they drop they go back they can't fight the much recent example which i came to it came to my mind uh, it came to my knowledge three days before in one of your university one professor who is not agreeing to submit a candidate i don't want to say the department name because of it 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 might create a problem to the candidate okay at least for you know other kinds of facilitation also the department is not acting this candidate belongs to the marginalized group i don't even want to tell which category 3 days before at 2 o'clock in the night i get the message 2 o'clock in the night i was shocked please do something why why is that you know i mean it happens
Another five, ten minutes, please. I am not going to take much of your time. Forms of exploitation by the research supervisors. Research supervisors. That is general classroom. 268 respondents said they ask their students to evaluate the answer sheets. Evaluating answer sheets is being assigned to the research scholars in the university spaces. It is a fact. It's a fact. Okay. So now what kind of you know reforms, exam reforms we talk about? Domestic help. Sabji lekha. Bache ko school me chodna. ठीक है और कुछ काम डोमेस्टिक घर का काम 259 responses not a small number and this is more rampant in state universities more rampant in state universities I've divided even how state universities and central universities also how one can where the areas of discrimination happens but I'm not giving much maybe you can read much later you know Exam invigilation, which is also part and partial of now, you know, UGC norm, whatever it may be. But even apart that, hi, yaad, thoda sa ja ke dekh lo, mere ko kuch kaam hai. Sexual harassment. It, it is so much so, 218 respondents said. 218 responses comes in saying there could be you know multiple responses from same respondent there is a possibility therefore 1592 responses in total it comes in some may had experienced sexual exp uh, ex uh, 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 harassment body shaming or a kind of you know examination invigilation there could be you know multiple responses and 180 students said that you know body shaming by the teachers Vandana, who teaches in uh, CWS, she came out with a wonderful, small, her work is on this only. She might also come out with an interesting, you know, this thing. But she wrote uh, in EPW in 2001, I guess. 2001? Yes. 2001 or 2002? 2001, I guess. BHU ka. You know, a girl student goes and says that, sir, बहुत गर्मी है तो तो आजकल डिपार्टमेंट को नहीं आ पा रहा सी इट्स वेरी आई एम सॉरी टू से दिस आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट यू गो एंड रीड दैट ईपीडब्ल्यू में है एंड द प्रोफेसर सेस हां आजकल अभी नया नया शादी हुआ गर्मी भी बढ़ेगा सी एंड द प्रोफेसर इज सेइंग दिस कंप्लीटली you know, obnoxious I'm telling. And you know, one, one teacher from the marginalized background. A teacher is from marginalized background. The student is also from marginalized background. And the teacher says, who is texting you? You know, you, you tell me all your passwords. Email passwords, sign student, basically. From down south, I don't want to name again the university. Uh, campus name and you ask all the passwords email password you know who texts you after 12 o'clock what are you doing on your mobile in the lab apart me no one is supposed to text you and you see Deepa Mohanan ka kya hua Kerala mein? in Kerala Deepa Mohanan went on to hunger strike till death till the administration or till everybody and you know, it's such a, you know, shameful thing that one can, you know, do. Body shaming is very common. Ha, bahut sundar dik hai tum. Why the hell you want to tell that? Aaj to kya, theek na hai mood. See the language. If you deconstruct it, what does it mean? What does it mean? Especially when you are using it towards to your girl students. You should know the limits. 
you should have some academic ethics when you are talking to someone else why only for girls why even you should you are not supposed to speak to boys also gaining emotional sympathy from the scholar ha mera dekhiye mera aisa hai ghar mein and you know you try to explain some emotions gain some emotions by explaining some kind of sympathy how many they said 169 respondents said that yes they will do this teachers they do that exploiting stealing your data idea for his or her own research 158 respondents said sir ye sare science log paper publish karte hai na science log khas kar they take over their students data and they put their names against them and say that we published it shame on them many students they many teachers they say ठीक है काम हुआ ना वो मेरा नाम भी डालो स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटीज में हो रहा है बहुत यूनिवर्सिटीज में बिकॉज ए पी आई स्कोर चाहिए आपको ए पी आई चाहिए तो आपको लिखना आना नहीं आ रहा है तो फिर क्या करना स्टूडेंट्स को आ रहा है लिखना पढ़ना लिखना तुमको नहीं आ रहा है तो तुम क्या कर रहा है स्टूडेंट जो अच्छा पढ़ा लिखना लोग लो होते हैं ना द हु कैन राइट सम गुड पेपर्स दिल से पुट माई नेम अदरवाइज आई नॉट साइन ऑन योर थीसिस सिंपल तो क्या करेगा बच्चे बाहर में जाने दो क्या क्या करना रख देंगे इसका नाम स्टीलिंग द डेटा दैट इज वॉट हैपन विद दीपा मोहन मेनी थिंग्स वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो डिस्कसिंग इट इज हैपनिंग विथ मेनी गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट्स बॉय स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो इनफैक्ट स्टीलिंग द डेटा ऑन मेनी अदर थिंग्स या देन यू नो when we went to the field girl students were very reluctant many, many especially in the state universities they were reluctant to talk to us because you know they were not at all safe you know in one of the metro cities where we went our scholars went to conduct the research they said sir please sir madam please aap campus mein mat baat karenge isme campus mein let us not talk please either come to some other place and it was such a fear psychosis they said nahi कोई भी देखा तो मेरा सुपरवाइजर को जाके बता देगा ओके सो देर फॉर यू नो दे मेंटेन लो प्रोफाइल इन पब्लिक यू नो स्पेस वेयर यू नो दे सेट दैट वी कैन नॉट शेयर दिस एक्सपीरियंसेस अटेंडिंग क्लासेस गोइंग टू द लैबोरेटरी और यू नो बैक टू होम हॉस्टल एज दे फाउंड द कैंपस एटमोसफेयर वेरी कास्टिस इंटीमिडेटिंग एंड मिसिजनिस्टिक ओके देन yeah the respondents observed in my study that there is a lack of cordial working relations between teachers and sc students as a former or reluctant to interact to share reading material everything i explained but uh, extend moral and psychological support to the later where do you stand when a student is facing this discrimination as a teacher do you really stand with any student i don't know i mean i need to talk to this particular candidate who approached me and try to talk to your own teachers who are here please intervene or if not you know i mean try to do something whether it will problem will be really resolved or not i don't know but at least you need to you need to try you need to try yaar aise kyun kar rahe ho aap theek hai tumko ichcha nahi hai to chhod dijiye pakad ke kyun baitha पकड़ के क्यों बैठा उसके जिंदगी से क्यों खेल खेल रहा है तुम इतना मेहनत करके सालों साल फाइव इयर्स सिक्स इयर्स दे डू रिसर्च एंड यू डोंट अलो देम टू फिनिश इज इट सी द ट्रोमा सी द ट्रोमा विच दे फेस yeah 275 responses they say caste plays a major role in faculty preferences for supervision caste 275 responses hamara caste hai to hum supervise karenge isko nahi to nahi now coming to the last portion which is mean rohit act i don't think that rohit name will be enacted in any act in further though there is a pil has been filed in the court pil tadvi's mother and rohit vemla's mother they filed 
a writ in the court, sorry, PIL in the court. I know I have that entire this thing also. When I asked this question, all 600 samples, I asked this question. Probably any one of you, I think Praveen said he read my book. Anti-discrimination act. The name, why there is a name problem of Rohit also, I'll tell. Why, see, when I ask that anti-discrimination act or Rohit act or any other name. Okay. So many said anti-discrimination act. Majority of the respondents. Fine. Very plain. When there is a name called Rohit act, why no to Rohit? No, 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 no. Who belongs to a different subcast. You are fighting with a larger battle with Brahmanism, which is killing, this is the killing fields of academia. I have written with one of a uh, blog, the killing fields of academia when Mudisar Kamran died in Iflu, or Pulayal Raju, I think, in HC. Okay? When you are fighting with the larger ideological or, you know, you know, other kind of, you know, things which you are fighting against. And Rohit, precisely being, I mean, he was killed, institutional murder. And why you are not happy with the name Rohit? No, 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 no. My Rohit ka wo alag politics tha. Anyway, but what is necessary? When ragging, if any privileged community you know why, how this ragging uh, act comes in? And it is a legal. Anti-ragging is a legal thing, okay? It's not only just a remedy uh, that has been comes with UGC, no. It is a legally, it is liable, punishable under IPC. This act comes in when some bureaucrat, top bureaucrats, either son or daughter, was a victim of ragging and they committed suicide. And later on this comes in. Now when this can come in, why can't an act with this kind of evidences are there, why, why can't we have, okay, forget about right now, temporarily, Rohit, anti-caste anti discrimination. You say that anti-caste, sorry, this, you know, uh, uh, this caste discrimination, where you know it happens, you know the, the act in the name of you know this um, uh, what is that? I, I literally the word I, which I use provision of anti discrimination act. Okay, it is high time. It is necessary. The raising cases of suicides or you know reports of discrimination and personal narratives recounted in this study testifies to the skewed habitus under the SCST students are faced to seek education. At every step, they are made aware of their quota identity, made to feel less meritorious, and if they happen to be female, subjected to sexual harassment, if they demand their duly contested rights, this is very important thing. If they demand their duly, you know, uh, constituted rights, to be upheld, they are labeled as troublemakers. SCST cells are, you know, I am not getting all these things, SCST cells, administration, surveillance, cameras, you know, all these things I am not bringing, you know, many things. Okay? And when they ask, they are troublemakers and antisocial elements. Antisocial elements. There is one antisocial element is coming and delivering lecture in JNU. Why we are talking about what is happening in the university spaces? It is our students' life narratives, their life and death question, their existence in the campus. We are not anti-social. We are constitutionalists we are who are demanding for ascent, the ideas of equality and justice. Equality and justice. The majority of the respondents of the present study pointed out that the legal provision anti-discrimination act is required to minimize overt and covert acts of humiliation and stigma 
that they are subjected to in the university spaces. The usual response to the institution is that which constitutes committee. Koi bhi kuch ho, committee dal do, dilute karo. Ha, committee dal denge, dilute kar denge, you know, tanda ho jayega mamla. To verify any discrimination occurred through verbal or non-verbal behavior, which fails to take cognizance of various intricities or intersects through which SCST students are subject to degraded practices. Pata hi nahi chalta hai kis tarika se aapko discriminate karta hai. The committees, what happened, you know, in Hyderabad University, many committees reports are, if Thorat committee would report, would have, they would have been implemented, things would have been completely different. They are, you know, gathering dust in the almaras of these bureaucrats. I have studied IITs in my study. I have mapped discrimination from 1971. From Uma Chitney's article, first article comes Mumbai IIT. From 1971 till last, last to last year 2021 data on SCST, candidates, reservations, denial of PhD seats. It's, it's a meticulous kind of thing. I might have missed a few, but I tried my level best to bring all kinds of, you know, things within into this, you know, study. Lastly, yeah, how, what is, how to address this problem? Okay, there is a problem. It is good that, you know, act comes in. It is good that act comes in. But how do we, we need to cultivate a sense of radical empathy. Yes, we, see, even you know, when something happens, we can't even come together to give the moral support to our student. So how do we, how do you build, you know, this radical empathy is very important between teachers and students. Most teachers lost sight of the fact that the classroom is a space Riff with histories embedded in the subjectivities of the students. Teachers need to be very sensitive. An education that strives to make its students into questioning subjects runs the risk of challenging traditional norms. We challenge. We are challenging now. We are challenging now. It's a risk. But it hopes to impart a critical perspective. A lens through which traditional values and familial cultural aspects are re-looked at. One needs to re-look all these things. At times even critiqued. That's where the critical reflections comes in there. In the book. The subtitle. I said, oh, date crashing into Gurukul Saap, mat rakho, koi baat nahi. Ne, aap subtitle rakho. I said, I don't want. If you don't want, I don't want. I use it that in any, you know, I want to use that in a, in a, for a different, you know, thing. But anyway, while most students grapple with the destabilizing phase of creating confusion of same, some, it can turn into a painful, difficult experience again in an identity crisis. Painful experience of many students pushing them to dropouts. One student, when I went for 2014 study, when Rohit Vemla was also my respondent in 2014, that is in 2014, later on I did this 10 universities. One science student said, no sir, please, up. I am folding your hands, folding hands and saying that please don't try to intervene in my matter. I will be leaving within one week. I don't want to fight with this system. I tried to convince Muthu Krishnan, Muthu Krishnan, I was his local Guardian, you know, who was killed, okay, many things. When I went, when I met Murthu Krishnan there, you know, he was such a, you know, four times he wanted to come and study in Delhi, uh, JNU. His relentless effort to get into JNU pushed him into death. So this painful inner pain is very important to understand before we say something. Perhaps even more important than 
transacting the prescribed syllabus in the in in holding the containing the presence of peers and teachers who can listen empathize and offer themselves as a reliable non competitive circle for of care care is very important what is essential is a humane classroom where intellectual discourse on transformative politics are accompanied by an authentic reception of the subject to life of each and every student not only dalit student each and every student life is precious how do we empathize with such things and the last thing which i would like to read and stop the another requirement is an institutional administration that keen receives and values students as growing uh, adults with valid positions even when they sometimes changes sorry challenges the established institutional positions yes what is wrong in challenging an institutional position institutions are also been made challenging institution to democratize institutions are becoming highly undemocratic so you are challenging the institution to become a demo as a democratic institution an administration that is not afraid of students students matlab dar students matlab dar hai you are not supposed to af get afraid you know talk to them have a dialogue if you don't have to have for what purpose the university spaces are if not for the students purpose is it for your own salary purpose you are been here no it is because of students who are here because of students university the idea of university comes in not because of university students all you know comes in you know because of students the idea of university has been created so if administration need to uh, 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 not afraid of students of or of going beyond the letter of the rule रूल ये बोलता है सो दैट वी विल सस्पेंड यू एंड वो भी बहुत मैंने इस स्टडी में ये भी पढ़ा मैंने विच स्टूडेंट्स आर मोर फेस्ड यू नो एक्शन विद इन द यूनिवर्सिटी स्पेसिस इट इज नन दैन एस सी एस टी और माइनॉरिटी स्टूडेंट्स ओके आर यून जेंडर इफ द फाइट फॉर देर ओन राइट्स ओके मतलब यू नो पनिश पनिशेबल यू नो फाइंड फाइन डालो दस हजार कोई पोस्टर चिपका है अंबेडकर यूनिवर्सिटी में इसको ऊपर दस हजार फाइन डाला भाई व्हाट इज दिस बियॉन्ड द लेटर ऑफ द रूल इन एक्सेप्शनल सर्कमस्टांसेस एंड वन विच एनकरेजेस डायलॉग अक्रॉस डिफिकल्ट डिफिकल्ट इश्यूज गोज ऑन लॉन्ग वे इन फोस्टरिंग सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस इन इट स्टूडेंट्स वॉट आर रिक्वेजिट्स और डिफिनाइट प्रोग्राम विच एनालाइज द रीजन फॉर एस सी एस टी ओबीसी स्टूडेंट्स ड्रॉप आउट of elite institutions and see can ameliorate the situation you need to study you need to understand why it is happening your points policy is gone <laughs> where you know many students who come from rural background you know many other places they come but it is gone the annual rankings of institutions based on placements wo hota hai na nrf ranking mein delhi university apna colleges ka beech mein ladai kar raha hai हमको कैसे मिल गया आपको कैसे मिला रैंकिंग्स ओके स्टीफेंस को रैंक नहीं मिलेगा बिकॉज दैट्स ए डिफरेंट आइडियोलॉजी डिफरेंट आइडियोलॉजी दो हैव यू नो रिजर्वेशन विथ ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ आइडेंटिटीज पर हा ये तो क्रिश्चियन इंस्टीट्यूट है क्रिश्चियन इंस्टीट्यूट है सो द एन आर एफ रैंकिंग इज वॉट बेस्ड ऑन प्लेसमेंट अलूमने रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट faculty publications etc should also ponder on dropouts why dropouts are not being part of your assessment of nac i asked this when a team came to my department you should include the dropouts within the campus spaces whether college or whatever discipline whether this can be a criteria to assess the college dropouts suicides different forms of discrimination and harassment and non implementation of reservations both in faculty recruitments and administration ye kyu nahi hai criteria aap ranking jab bana raha hai sirf faculty publications ko leke aur aur kuch kuch goody goody things ko leke aap 
acha it can be ranked as number 1 or ranked as you know number 2 why not dropouts and many other things so therefore ironically to conclude i started with nep and i am concluding with nep nep facilitates multiple exit policies in the name of skill development and one way of pushing the majority of sest students to withdraw from formal education is to deny them the knowledge opportunities and nice thank you so much thank you so much and i'm sorry i might have taken much more time you know it's it it came out with an emotion you know so thank you so much for inviting me and patiently listening to this good luck for all of you anything else uh, some it's discussion yeah yeah sure sure yes yes, yes. <laughs> you have to add that you know article that's why uh, you know your article is uh, not completed so yeah i'll tell that i'll tell yeah, that like we uh, you know face a kind of uh, incident and specifically uh, caste discrimination so yeah and uh, that, sir means your data is very enriching and <laughs> i know i know that yeah. and thank you for your i know i know that, uh, i know i forgot whatever your thoughts you share with us and Sure, we will <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot to tell one thing. You know, I mean, I thought I can note it down. And incidentally, uh, today is in 1991. When on the exact date, there was a caste carnage that happened in Chundur, where 14 Dalits were mercilessly massacred, mercilessly massacred by the caste. you know hindu communities i don't feel shy to say caste hindu communities and you know this day is we cannot we need to refer them the sacrifices of such you know people we are all here due to because of sacri- this scst atrocities act comes in with karam chedu follows up with this sundur massacre and today i was going through it Pr- prabhakar uh, Man, uh, manohar was also mentioning about it so i'm sorry i forgot to mention about this in fact i did my mphil on chundur karam chedu and chundur caste carnages okay so you know we need to you know pay tributes to them they sacrifices you know it's almost how many 22 years 21 years 91 you know tw- uh, tw- it's 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 almost 21 years Th- sorry 31 years 31 years okay so you know i mean how do we forget their sacrifices okay their children their families are still you know shattered and ironically that the 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 other day i was in kashmir you know i was talking about to bureaucrats train training training bureaucrats about scst act about uh, this act need to be implemented you know uh, there uh, you know uh, the irony is that which i was also mentioning about this in that you know talk all convicted the the accused who were convicted in this case with speed fast track court 
has been acquitted all of the, them them has been acquitted by the high court the tragedy is this see how judiciary is so dubious about things you know? so i think i i think that is very important to mention thanks for again you know reminding me i was i was thinking that you know i i need to say this and you know so you know we need to really pay back to our you know uh, 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 to our people we need to stand with you know not only within the campus outside the campus okay so darne ke liye zaruri nahi hai we are democratically fighting okay there would be ups and downs but this struggle will keep on continuing okay yeah any questions please related to yeah this is this is a fact i'm telling you this is a fact you know put my name you know our term paper wo dekh ke ab wo ko mark hi nahi de dega because you are not quoting his or her reference and his or her you know if you quote the name you will get more marks if you don't quote the name you will paper will not be approved your term paper will be marked accordingly this is a fact this is a fact Huh? The question again, you know, I mean, they said, "Yeah, you are right. You are right. You are right." Everybody, many of you might have experienced this, or maybe you might have had shared experiences. Okay, बात होता है ना? खाना कौन किस तरीके से खाता है इसे लेके? I didn't even mention about you know the language which they use. If I use that, no, you will go, you know, mad. That you know, is it really happens like this? The language, the the, the comments. It is completely, you know, humiliating. I didn't even use even a single, you know. Please read that book. It is on soft copy is available. Yeah. So uh, with this, uh, I from Babsa also we want to mention since there are many new faces. Keep with what Sara has spoken about the institutional discrimination in universities. We all must know and understand the PSC entrance exam and higher course is coming. Last year, the same issue has. Highlighted was highlighted, which has been highlighted since a long year. The discrimination in PhD bias. JNU has a long history of giving zero to two, two marks, three, one, one mark, two marks, one point seven five those kind of marks to the Bajan students, to not just the Bajan students, but even Marathi students. The questions are: If someone has a someone has probably a synopsis on Indian Russia relation. But still, the question is that what is your thought on UP police? What is your thought on Maharashtra police? How do you compare the both? What is your thought on Prophet Muhammad? What is your thought on reservation? These are the questions are asked in the campus, in in JNU campus. With with all these less marks, there was committee set up for investigation for. You know, to see about the discrimination that happened, there was Abdul Nafe committee. Nafe committee, yeah, I did mention about that yes. also. Yeah. There was uh, Thorat committee, and uh, there was Rajiv Bhatt committee. These three committee did an extensive survey and found out there is a pattern in the discrimination. That this is the SC with ST OBC and other marginalized com communities get such a less mark, and they recommended several ways. Ki the bias was to reduce to 32 10 percentage. There should be an uh, external to you know the, uh, to uh, look into the bias and say how the uh, to infiltrate the bias and say there should be recording. So these are the uh, these are the recommendations that JNU yes. committee JNU appointed this committee and this committee is recommended to JNU administration. Instead of that, what JNU did it increased the bias and say from 30 to 100 percent. 100 percent. And there was court case fought. So when the students were demanding the bias was should be lessened to 10 percentages, in Zainu the bias was increased. The court case was fought, and the court uh, and the court mandated to you know, bring it down to 30 percent again. So what happens? Like what what must be our case? What must be our demand with this? Last year, since till last year, Babsa's demand has been our bias was should be 10 percent to be reduced to 10 percentages. But that is a minimal demand. Last year we also thought about it, and we also, you know, communicated to the students, to the faculties. There are many techniques also adopted in several uh, centers. Like in my center, School of uh, Center for Study of Social Systems, the sociology C uh, triple S, where the third person is an Ambedkar person. Then the system is there. If the higher was a 
marks will be divided into 10 each sections one for presentation one for domain knowledge one for research idea research methodology and the minimum mark will be given 30 percentage 30 percentage will be minimum mark that is 9 point 9 mark so at least one person won't get a humiliating mark one or two mark is not a less mark it's an undignified mark it's a humiliating mark it's to tell you you do not work more than you nine was nine mark is not from so this this is a system still this is a system in SU there is also a system okay, how I was it will be graded but in jail most of the centers do not have that system so last year what we thought okay, even if we reduce bio versus from 30 to 10 percent still within that 10 percent there will be discrimination there will be nine eight mark to some students ten mark to some students and there will be one and zero to other students so what we called for is the scrap of the ocean is the zero downing of higher ocean there will be no higher ocean at all but still that is a contested claim in jail itself because in some other organizations when you know when the subjective uh, entrance exam was there Lot of people are still facing the bio discrimination because of the language problem, the ideological biases of the people who were seen. So then there was an objective pattern came. But without a survey, how it is helping the students from the marginalized community with discrimination or without discrimination, the JNU community itself declared that it will it will reduce, deteriorate the merit of JNU. And the same thing has been called upon us, if you call for a scrap of higher it will deteriorate the merit of JNU. So what is the merit of JNU? What is the merit, what merit a person needs to study in JNU? That is the question. At the same time, we also want to ask the sir, how this higher exact problem of higher can be solved? Do we need to scrap higher Do we need some other mechanism? What kind of mechanism do we need for this exact problem and at the same time sir we want to congratulate you after this book and after this lecture you are going to the most hated colleague in India and most loved teacher you are going to this <laughs> I, I love to be hated you know <laughs> by, the the other, loved, by the other by the other by the other and also want to congratulate you the story you said ki you, you got four marks because you, you didn't have the cultural capital of language but at the same time, now you have learned such a language that your publisher has to censor your language. So, <laughs> this is exactly great classing of Gurkul. So, our talk time will be great classing of Gurkul. And with this, we, we no, want the, to go to the Viva, see, look. Viva is a field that it should be scrapped. Subject to who? Now, suppose if you ask a question, you have certain thing in your mind, you expect that. And if you are not able to say that, or if you are not able to opine that, okay, this is the response, then the person will completely get, you know, tend to, you know, discriminate. It's subjective. Okay, one student might give a different answer. The other student might give a different answer. If it is not social, you see, if it is a sciences, you know, a formula is there and you, therefore, you express, express the formula, it is fine. But even then, again, with there, you know, the same students who comes from different background, Expressing the formula will get same formula. One will get five. Expressing the formula will get same formula. One will get five marks, another will get one mark. There is nothing to be added or you know deleted. In social sciences, you have a you know uh, uh, this differences of opinion within the social science discipline can happen. Okay, now ideological caste, your fellowship, your past. Achha, do you say? Do you say that you seat mil jayega? Jain you say to this happened in a recruitment. I said, no, you can't do this. You can't do this. Because Jain, you say, these people are thinking recruitment at time. Why? Okay, so why need to be scrapped first? Number two, if at all you want to make it, UGC circular says, also I question, I question the people who go and play as a role of observers, as observers. What is that you people are doing there? It is mandatory to have an observer. SC, ST, women, OBC, and uh, differently abled observer in the in the in 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 Viva, in uh, interviews everywhere. Being a person who took advantage again, 
because i am using this word precisely for the people who are who has taken advantage of that quota and you are going and sitting ideally i mean very ideal that you are not questioning what is happening in front of you your role is to see what they are doing question them challenge them one professor again i don't want to name in my own department 7 years before we see nominee this you know the moment acha from this college first class i said hold on hold on we looking me like that i said what i said please don't mention anything before you start interview you are here to interview the candidate based on their selection don't say from this college from that college this much percentage i said no what is wrong this person said i said i'll give you 100 reasons why it is wrong i'll give you 100 reasons why this is wrong so then everything has been so an observer at least so what the role of observers is very important you are there to represent the interests of your own community if you are not you know looking into your own community interests why the hell you are why is that you have been appointed against this position and you are not opening up you know debating about or even questioning the dominant system in front of you they are interviewing people from different caste categories in a different language with a different kind of tone as a observer you need to question if you fail that means somewhere you know the within the category you know the you know also they are accountable the reserve category faculty who are being sending as an observers are also accountable for this kind of mess i am telling they are part being part of the decision making at the upper level bodies in the university that is what you know academic council executive councils how many professors are from reserved caste background are part of it even if they are there you need to believe in a particular ideology then only you will be there they don't see a genuine you know person who represents the community they don't see administration also doesn't want so therefore viva is completely you know a disgusting system if you ask me some may speak well some may not speak well some may write very well therefore you need to have different mode of assessment and viva was part of it but now viva completely when it becomes 100% all these examples i have written in this work everything all this you know comes in so 100% you know viva how can you dare say that just with one one mark you will completely throw out a person who belongs to scheduled caste scheduled tribe or even forget about scheduled caste scheduled tribe who can't speak english in elite institutions it happens so therefore you know i mean this viva is need to be you know scrap because you know 8 70 to 80% of respondents said that viva is a major problem which they face viva is a major problem please please first of all thank you sir for your uh, talk and also for the lessons for both and we both uh, uh, as we like uh, try to understand the patterns of discrimination we are also seeing a kind of uh, response to it through the upsurge and anger by the anti caste politics throughout the university campuses but we often see that how we are being silenced in our way and they are not being heard so like in this uh, of reading like what is the like scope of this politics itself and secondly when we are trying to understand the behavioral pattern whether it's from the student to institution or from the student to student like i was wondering like how do you see when we try to understand the interpersonal relations how do you see the kind of in intimate relation itself because they are also the part and parcel of the building of the society the ethical or moral society see the politics of presence is important why is that you know the anti caste politics are being again you know silenced and again why there is a silence from anti caste people from who who are you know who say that you know we are all part of this anti caste tradition so until unless if we don't speak things will become more vulnerable either see suppose if teachers don't speak 
what can happen what will happen to students they are more vulnerable they are more vulnerable therefore i say that you know teachers are supposed to speak you now at least you know i mean whatever you know is there you know i mean what you need to do is that you need to voice the politics of presence is very important suppose if we withdraw then that amounts to more problems more problems therefore you know from the current you know whatever the situation not only current you know this anti caste politics was completely it 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 was it 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 was not liked by any regime any regime i am telling this regime is, but even previous regimes were also they were also part of this you know you know casteist agenda within the campuses so what my my only thing is that you know networking rohit vemla movement after that what happened where do we stand teachers where do we stand students where do we stand progressive organizations dalit bahujan organizations ambedkarite organizations women organizations where do we stand are we coming together are we coming together and fight against this casteist you know fundamentalist religious fundamentalists in this country we need to have a presence politics of presence ups and downs will be there that's what i said in ups and downs will be there but certainly there would be a kind of you know mutual support mutual support is necessary even among the teachers among the intellectuals if we don't support each other then you know what happens what happens that different ways how the establishment will find to dilute to to kill the spirit of struggle to kill the spirit of you know democratic struggle there will be because you know establishment is meant for it for their own sake of interest they will do it but at the same time how come i mean why can't we democratically lead there would be you know yes as as i mentioned there would be some kind of backlash okay the backlash will be more vulnerable <laughs> so you know as i said you know i mean there would be many people you know who uh, you know our uh, our friend was mentioning there will be many people who will hate me who will dislike me i don't mind i don't mind i speak truth i am speaking truth that you are supposed to be ashamed not me okay so that is one thing second thing interpersonal relations of inter interpersonal relations that is also one of the major thing which i you know studied you know how boys and girls different caste backgrounds boys and boys you know how they they move around in the campus make relationships how relationships are made on this particular thing you know it is you know it there is a mixed opinion on that okay yes there are many boys and girls who run into a relationships okay who broke up based on caste if they come to know about the caste later on they will break the relationship okay and you know some run into a relationship for the sake of some kind of you know benefits all things you know comes in into this therefore that is what i ask how who are your five best friends do 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 you do you believe in love marriage or did you run any into a relationship with any you know uh, 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 in, uh, into a relationship if yes then which caste belongs to you had any this did ever caste played a role in your relationships okay did any other factors within the campus played role in your own relationships so you know all these things i did it the only thing is that yes there is a mixed opinion on this you know kind of thing inter and interpersonal relationships okay friendships other other kind of emotional you know uh, uh, relationships okay so there is a mixed opinion there is a mixed opinion on it but did yes did caste did played a very important role okay because you know ultimately you know your breakup is happening precisely because of the family background caste background caste and caste family backgrounds okay so you know because you know, again you don't gain so respect in the uh, within the society once if you go out from the campus so therefore you know within the campus it is okay you go out then you know no i mean let us end up the relationship so you know in the process schedule caste boys and girls who are running into the relationship they are entering into more emotional trauma rather than the other okay this this i all know I, i did mentioned about all these things in the you know book it it, it, it has a mixed opinion mixed, mixed opinion <laughs>
Yeah, please, please. A little bit loud. Uh, in case that we are talking about discrimination for challenges, are facing by the liberal scholars, uh, or they are facing by the liberal scholars, or the students, liberal analysis, can we also talk about our coping of the mechanism? Coping. Some students are going to pass out from every day. And what really helps them to... Uh, yeah, I'm very good. I mean, I'm, I, I missed that point. You know, that's a very important question. Coping of strategies are very important. Therefore, I said, you know, you need to make peers, number one. Who, I asked the question, who stands with you when anything happens? I asked this question, family, friends, student organizations, student union, social organizations, political organizations. I asked this. Many, many respondents said, friends, family and friends. Okay, some students don't want to take this issue to the family. You know, the caravan which came out with an entire episode after Rohit's incident, caravan came out with an entire episode. Okay, many students, you know, the videos which I consulted, even electronic media, that, you know, videos, you know, many kind of, you know, news clippings, you know, videos. So in one of the video, one student from HCU, he said, we don't want to go back and tell about our families what has happened. The 10 students' rustication. Okay, and even after that, you know, Rohit Vemula and, you know, his friends' rustication, one of the uh, friends, I think, Vijay or someone, who said, you know, we don't want to go back and tell to our parents that, you know, this is what happened with us. We don't want our families to end up in this crisis. So the coping up mechanism is very important thing where we need to work out on the personal relationships, student organizations, Dalit, Ambedkarite, Dalit organizations, you know, all these organizations need to come together. There should be, in fact, there is a helpline. Disha Vadekar, I think, uh, my, uh, Disha Vadekar, they have a helpline. There is a helpline which they talk about, you know, any kind of, in fact, I am going to divert, direct this particular candidate who approached me at 2 o'clock in the night. I can show you the I don't want to show you the name, but you know, two o'clock. When the mobile beep sound, you know, two o'clock, what message? Please help me, sir. Such as, you know, so how do we, coping up mechanism is, we, we, at least we need to sit and discuss with. Someone need to listen what is happening with them. Half of the burden will be gone. I'm telling you, you know, your agony, your trauma, that you need to see psychology, the social psychology, how do we understand the social psychology of humiliation, exploitation, discrimination. So we need to sit, we need to talk, we need to spend time with people who face this kind of discrimination. I think that will make things much more better, number one. Number two, organizations like BAPSA or any other organization which really believes in a sense of equality, justice, you should have a helpline in every university. Okay, a voice, you know, coming out with a voice. Sometimes that becomes, that might fire back against the candidate. How do we negotiate? Negotiation is very important. Okay, peer friends, peer group is very important. Okay, in, in, in WhatsApp Jamana, we will be busy with our mobiles. We don't even listen to our what? So at least, you know, how do you use this WhatsApp for the purpose of supporting the candidate, standing with the candidate, okay? There are many helplines, many groups are there, okay? Certainly, I think, you know, these kind of interventions, questioning, you know, I mean, representing, you know, at least 10 students represent. Whether the problem will be solved or not different, but the candidate will not go to such an extent where they will commit suicide. They think that, okay, some people are there to listen to my problem. Some are there, you know, they may, the problem might resolve or not. But, you know, so this kind of, you know, coping up mechanisms are very important, you know, coming together, uh, meeting together. How many people we may meet on some occasions? Why can't we meet on a chai? Uh, ten people, you know, you, some ten people, you know, go and meet some student, you know what I mean? So you go and extend your support structure. So among peer group is very important first. Teachers also must play a very positive role. At least listen. If you don't listen, then what for you are? 
So now this coping up strategies, there are many things which I did mention uh, uh, in the book, probably I'll, I'm not recollecting that many things are there, like Rohit Act. Okay, Act, you know, if the Act is there, then why this uh, uh, student can go to someone else? Okay, if there is a legally, you know, uh, liable, then the student can be, you know, I mean, the person who is perpetuating can be, you know, legally punishable. You see that ragging, how much uh, importance the institutions they give when admissions happens. The same importance they don't give when it comes to discrimination. I think I'm also exhausted. <laughs> yeah, please, please. Yeah. My question is that this elite, so called elite and premium institutes, IIT, even J and others, so they have been like, the inception is a problematic and for elite thing. So it has been like clearly captured by the upper class. So going to them is very difficult. The kind of state has been captured by them. Hmm. So at the, at the community level, at our level, so for our your, your younger students, what can we do? Should we have our own institution? How we can design so that our people don't support? See, in the era of this where public universities or public institutions are under huge threat. Okay. If we have our own institutions, again, our, the problem of discrimination cannot be addressed where, see, how many people can be accommodated in this our institutions with the huge population. So public universities, public funded universities or IITs, IIMs, where the constitutional mandatory of reservations which they are supposed to implement, it must be there. One can accommodate 10 or 100 or you know 1000, but there are you know 10,000 people where you know you can't accommodate everybody. And again that gives a very separate, unique, different identity. Aja is from so and so, Aja oh, then it's gone. Okay. Instead of doing that, yes it is important to have institutions of their own again you know which can be an ideological churning whatever it may be politically ideological you know churning but correcting the public institutions which are constitutionally it is, it is sub bound constitutionally bound number one today morning i was talking to a faculty from triple it gauti he did mention about certain interesting thing he said look yes discrimination is there Faculty belongs to marginalized groups are there in IITs, IIMs, but they are not able to open up, speak precisely because of the outside support which they are not getting. Suppose if there is a kind of, you know, you know, faculty coming together and extending solidarity, making a statement, very, you know, highly but it is still, it is still, you know, one can, you know, and he said interestingly that there are people who are sympathetic, but they don't want to come out precisely because of the topmost administration, which doesn't want to do this, which doesn't want to do this. So therefore, from PhDs, you block them. Faculties, you know, they are at least, you know, one or two places, though they are not doing much, but they are doing, okay. So instead of, you know, having our own institutes, we need to correct the system. We need to challenge, we need to fight, you know, file PILs. You know, suppose if there are three, four PILs in different, you know, things like what is happening. On IIT, certainly it is, we are planning to do something. Some faculty already we discussed it. Okay, what should we do? Now, whenever we talk about IITs, the government will say, no, we will form a committee. And a couple of years before also they did that, you know, we will see thoroughly it will be implemented. But again, it is, you know, diluting. And court is also in the hands of the privileged. So therefore, it takes time, it takes time, but still we need to struggle, still we need to struggle. I think I am not leaving completely the hope, hopes on this public, you know, institutions because we are all into the public, you know, system, you know, we can't, you know, completely, you know, suppose if we start that idea, then we are legitimizing the privatization, we are legitimizing complete dilution of the public institutions and then the accountability of these institutions will be completely shattered. So I personally feel that whatever, you know, our role need to be played, we need to play in public institutions. We need to say that, no, you have to do, if not 100%, do 2%, 3%.
it's not a charity again do something so you know we need to negotiate by hook or crook where strength is much more you fight there is no strength negotiate no different strategies different strategies you need to be you know used being in the system that's what you know i mean slowly i am learning you know you need to use different strategies okay so otherwise in my own department they cannot dare to not implement reservation even if i quit today job sapne mein aa jata hu main unko i will get into their dreams i am telling you know so therefore you know we need to we need to play a role we need to play a role many i hope things will be positive in coming days thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much and david once again